I remember sitting there after I took my first full length practice MCAT exam, just staring at the score. It was like a 495 or something like that. And I felt good taking it, but my stomach hit the floor. Uh, Cause I, I knew that if I scored that on the real MCAT, like my chances of getting into medical school were done. And I knew I had to fix it, but I, I just didn't really know how to fix it. I just kept reviewing the wrong way, kept guessing at what to do next. And unfortunately when the real MCAT came, and my score came back, I felt that same level of disappointment with my real MCAT score. And it took me two years, but I figured the test out, got accepted into medical school with a scholarship because of my MCAT, and last week, I matched into plastic surgery, which is one of the most competitive specialties out there. In this video, I'll share with you what I learned so that you don't ever have to feel that level of shame and embarrassment that I felt. Now, when you take a practice MCAT, if you're failing it, which is kind of what I call scoring below a 500, usually you've got some pretty significant content gaps. And so my first recommendation is to review the basic sciences and learn the basic sciences. Now the good news about that is that you've already done a content review most likely. So you don't have to go back through and reread an entire like 2,000 page book series or do a million Aki cards or anything like that. You just need to complete a high yield review and focus on understanding the concepts of the test. Because the thing about the MCAT, and if you're being diligent when you go back through and review it, you'll see this, is that the MCAT seems to test a bunch of superfluous details and really niche topics or even things that weren't even in your review books. But in all actuality, what it's actually testing is your ability to extrapolate and apply the common sciences, the high yield sciences, into these unique scenarios. And that makes sense. That's what you'll have to do when you're a doctor. So recommendation number one is to review your basic sciences. And I would do that by completing a structured high yield content review with a huge emphasis. Like you have to take this personally to understand the concepts at a level that you could explain it to a friend and apply it in a odd, unique scenario. And then for those small details that you're struggling to remember, because it's kind of hard to understand some concepts if they're just like Planck's constant or something like that, that's just a number, you have to memorize those small details. And so when you come across a science, ask yourself, is this a concept thing or is this a detail thing? Now usually whenever I tutor this, I teach it as two topics, story and details. You gotta make sure you learn the story of the science how these things build into each other and how they all relate and come together to make a science across different disciplines because that's how the MCAT tests. And then the details. And if you come across a detail, my favorite way to memorize it is with a flashcard. And I use Anki. That's how a lot of you probably got introduced to this channel. But you can use whatever means you find efficient to memorize details. Just make sure it's something that you can review easily and frequently because there's no sense in taking the time to record those details if you're not going to review them and make sure that they stick. And unfortunately, the details are the things that don't usually stick. Whereas the concepts, once you understand it, it just kind of makes sense and it sticks in your brain for a while. The second recommendation I always give students is that you have got to lean into practice questions. Now later on in the video, I'll tell you which practice questions that I recommend and how we go about doing all these together in a bit of a, um, like a scheduled format so it's a little bit more manageable. But you need to be taking thousands, not dozens or hundreds, but thousands of practice questions and you need to be focusing on reviewing them intently and intensely. The purpose of taking a practice test or practice questions is in no means to like see where you are. So whatever you score on your practice question set, don't even worry about it. Because the purpose of taking practice questions is twofold. It is to get practice applying the concepts that you do know and it's to identify concepts that you don't know. So if I'm a student and I have to choose between taking a set of practice questions where I knew everything and I scored 100 or taking a set of questions where I knew nothing and I scored a zero, as a practice set, I'd probably rather take the one where I knew nothing because that's a great learning opportunity, right? Now, it doesn't feel like that. It kind of sucks and it hurts your feelings if you do poorly on a set of practice questions, but remind yourself that like that's good, right? That's a lot more learning opportunities. 
You've got to have a growth mindset through this process, otherwise you're going to get discouraged and flame out. Now when you're reviewing those practice questions, you got to focus on the whole story and details thing that goes back with your basic sciences. So if you're going through a passage or a question, you need to first make sure that you understand the story of Michaelis Minton kinetics and how those things interrelate with each other. And then you need to go and memorize the specific details like how KM and VMAX change with different inhibitors and things of that nature. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John. I am still a fourth year medical student, but last week I matched into plastic and reconstructive surgery. Pretty pumped about it. There will be a match day video coming soon, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel to see that. Now before medical school started, I was a professional MCAT tutor for some of the big box companies, and this was after having to take it four times. So I've spent a lot of time on this test and I started this company and this YouTube channel with the other tutor on this channel who's my little sister Maggie with the idea that everyone that wants to be a doctor all of our future colleagues in medicine should have access to some level of professional tutor because the truth of it is that the people that pay for those high price programs you know the $8,000 Kaplan's and stuff like they usually score well and get in. Unfortunately, it is a little bit of a pay to play because resources are just so helpful at this point. And that doesn't change in medical school either. Now, it's our hope that all of our free videos and uh, free resources on this channel and on our website are all that you need to score well on the MCAT and become our colleagues in medicine. But if not, if you need paid resources that you would look to us first as a thank you for all the free teachings uh, that we give away. Now my final recommendation, if you just bombed a practice test and you're like, I gotta get this crap together because I do not like being a scribe, <laughs> um, is that you've gotta have deep, meaningful double AMC practice exam review. Now ideally you would sit down with a professional tutor and you would go through every single one of those questions and you would see how she or he walks through all of those questions and thinks through each passage because the truth of it is that most of your improvement if you're scoring below 500, 505 ish is going to come from the left side of the page, the side with the passage juxtaposed to the right side of the page, the side with the questions. And that is a skill that is pretty unique to just the MCAT, to be honest with you. Um, but I think it's more helpful in your clinical practice of medicine than it is in your test taking skills for medical school. And I'll tell you how to get that in just a second, but when you're going through those exams, if you decide to disregard everything that I'm saying, you've got to focus on understanding what clues were they given in the passage, what details did you miss out, make sure that you can map the passage out properly, and then when you get to the questions, focus again on story and details. You've got to understand the story, understand the concepts, and then understand the details associated with them and make relevant flashcards or whatever repetitive review device that you use. Now the best way to be able to get both of these in a timely and a structured fashion, if you're wanting to focus on learning the basic sciences, quickly getting that quick high yield concept review that focuses on application and how the MCAT actually asks the questions rather than having you memorize a ton of crap, as well as getting thousands of the best quality practice questions, you need to look at our UWorld XIFD high yield course. Essentially what this course is is Myself and Maggie, the other tutor on this channel, we not only took the exams between us five times, because I took it four, but we've talked to hundreds, thousands of students at this point about what they saw on their test. And we've identified the just under 50 high school concepts that pop up on like every exam for the most part. We wrote a short book covering all those concepts the associated details, and we even wrote out how we've seen them tested on the real MCAT. Because some people like myself are more visual learners, we made associated recorded lectures where we're drawing these things out to help the teachings be a little bit deeper, and we also have the chance and the opportunity to teach those in a little bit more conversational fashion than text allows. Now the really cool part about that program is that we have a partnership with UWorld where they allowed us to create a learning platform on their website. And so we hand combed through all 3,000 of their questions, picked out the relevant questions associated with each chapter, with each lecture, so that you have the ability to quickly review the high yield science and then immediately go and take questions that are relevant to that science to make sure that you're understanding and retaining what you're reading and what you're being lectured to. Now, if you just want to supercharge that, if you're like, man, I am not gonna experience what John experienced, I'm gonna knock this test out, 
and you want to have some deep meaningful review with the double AMC exams, then you need to look at our double AMC passage breakdown strategies course. And this is something that we just discounted almost 50%. Maggie and I went through every single question and passage. It was like, it's over 200 videos of us going through WMC one through four, breaking them down, telling you every trick, every tip, teaching you every single relevant science and making sure that you never have to like ask yourself again, how was I supposed to know that? Now I think these products are excellent. Obviously I'm biased. Uh, Maggie and I have put years into perfecting them. We'll continue to improve upon them. But regardless whether or not you choose to get those resources, I wanna encourage you to apply the three things that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Learning your basic sciences, hitting tons, thousands of practice questions, and having deep meaningful reviews of your practice exams because I do not ever want you to experience that shame and embarrassment I did when I opened my real MCAT and realized that I was gonna have to wait a whole nother year and study for this test again. The good news is now that you've found us, you don't have to study alone, we're with you. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.